so let us start with one of the topic of water flooding that is flooding pattern so any of the water flooding process is not a simple process aisa nahi ki yahan se pani dal diya wahan se tel nikal gaya it's not as simple as it looks so it requires a number of wells a large number of wells to implement and execute water flooding so to do that effectively we go through different types of well patterns so any field will have a large number of producing wells and depending upon different conditions such as spacing between the producing wells um conditions like reservoir characteristics reservoir heterogeneity presence of fractures and all those stuffs including economy financial status of the company we select a specific flooding pattern and so today in this video we will talk about different flooding patterns we will talk about the injection to production ratio and different analysis of those patterns including their applications so let us start with the factors which are involved in selection of any specific flooding pattern in a field so the factors will basically include reservoir characteristics reservoir characteristics such as size heterogeneity now heterogeneity basically means that presence of fractures at different location presence of fractures presence of barriers or impermeable rocks within the reservoir it can also include localized variation of reservoir properties such as permeability porosity petrophysical properties so let us take a example let us say this is our reservoir and with localized variation this portion will have different permeability porosity this portion will have a different permeability porosity and if you place two wells and inject fluid inject water this is a producer well and these are two injector wells now if you use the same injection rate and if you do not analyze porosity and permeability at, at different regions then you can see in effective recovery of the oil because let us say that k2 is greater than is highly greater than k1 so when you inject water from this region water will not only displace oil towards the producing phase but it will also displace the oil towards this injector well so these are the different reservoir characteristics there can be any sort of conditions and those conditions has to be taken into account before starting the water flooding process now other thing can include economy now the water flooding process requires injection wells injector wells and those injector wells can be created can be introduced in any field by two process either you can drill an infill well or you can convert a pre existing producing well to a injector well so introducing one injector well can be done by two methods either you can drill an infill well in the field or you can convert one of the or maybe one or more producing well into injector wells so what do you think which process is most cost effective obviously this one because drilling is again a time taking process drilling requires drilling a well which is a time taking as well as a as well as it requires a very high investment so it is costly time taking but by designing a good pattern you can have better recovery in this case and basically in this case you are doing some sort of jugad जो वेल well पहले से था उसको वापस उसको इंट्रो उसको इंजेक्टर वेल बना दिया सो एनी वे इट इज कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव प्रोसेस बट इट मे और मे नॉट बी इफेक्टिव सो इकोनॉमी इज वन थिंग एंड अदर फैक्टर्स कैन इंक्लूड अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ रिसोर्सेस सच एज वाटर द 
because different patterns require different quantity of water so these can be three broad factors which helps in selection of any flooding pattern in a field now let us talk about different types of flooding patterns flooding patterns first pattern we'll talk about is irregular pattern the now the name itself justifies the type of pattern koi bhi well kahin bhi kisi bhi location pe there is no specific or there is no uniform arrangement of wells there is no uniform arrangement and this pattern is usually implemented where the size of the field is small so it is seen in case of smaller fields because smaller fields will have limited well and if the field is small you don't have enough space to experiment different types of pattern so it is used in case of smaller field and apart from that it is used in some of the cases where there is a large variation in reservoir or in other words you can say that your reservoir is not homogeneous now let us take example to understand this point for example this is a field and this portion has different permeability this portion has different permeability but the pattern here is regular and because of that because of that variation the recovery factor in this region will be different from recovery factor in this region so we cannot use regular pattern where the variation in the reservoir is very high or the reservoir heterogeneity is high so this is your irregular pattern 